Hey there, I'm wanting to do this quick unboxing video for my latest purchase which involves this little thing it's just a USB plug yes, I'm British, we use three prongs so that's one side because I need that to properly review this yep <laughs> I'm actually going to do a video on these or one of these anyway it's a Neo Geo Mini and this is the Samurai Showdown Homoral version. I already have the red Nakuru version and the blue Ukyo Tachibana version. I also have the Christmas version as well as a couple of Japanese and international Neo Geo Minis. Yes, I've had, yes, I've got quite a lot, but then I freaking love these things. Yeah, they've uh, got a bit of a <laughs> Uh, a bit of reputation especially with Neo Geo enthusiasts because there's a few bits and pieces that um, they weren't uh, really too happy with the uh, the enthusiasts I mean such as the fact that um, the joysticks and the thumbsticks on the controllers aren't micro switched um, the fact that the HDMI um, output for the TV for them could uh, could have been better um, and uh, what else? Oh, and the fact that um, the actual unit itself is supposed to... Well, lots of people thought it was portable, but obviously um, it only gets its power through USB, hence why the plug. It doesn't actually have a, an internal storage thing. It only gets its power directly from USB sources. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's um, not that much of an issue. I mean, you can get one of those Onka power bank things for your phone if you really want it to be um, portable. But then you're carrying a little arcade system, so you still have to, you know, hold on to it while pressing the buttons and holding the joystick and all that. It's it's more of a novelty item more than anything else rather than being portable. I mean, come on, it's, it's an arcade cabinet design. When are these arcade cabinet designs um, ever really going to be portable? <laughs> it's not like you, something you can actually hold in your hand. Something you can actually hold in your hands, yes. That's portable. I mean, you can do. I mean, you, you do hold. We can hold the arcade thing in your hand, but why would you? Because it's supposed to be on a table or something that you can play it on. It just it wouldn't make any sense um, to why you would um, hold it right in your hand unless you have really difficulty seeing the screen. But no, the screen's actually um, nice, nicely lit thing. Hopefully, I'll be able to prove that. <laughs> Because I'm just doing this video completely um, uh, unscripted and everything. Anyway, I might as well go on to the games. Of course, this features all five, sorry, six, silly me, six, six Samurai Showdown games, all six that were released for the Neo Geo. And in case anyone's wondering, no, ne um, Samurai Showdown 5 Perfect, which was released in that Neo Geo um, Samurai Showdown collection bundle for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Um, that game was in development before the Neo Geo was cancelled. They would have no doubt released it if the Neo Geo hadn't been cancelled in 2004, but it was. So Samurai Shonen 5 Special was technically the final game released for the system. But as well as that, you've got Samurai Shodowns 1 through 5 as well. The other games, so I'm going to have to look at the, um, the actual <clears throat> pictures. Everything's written, uh, most, uh, quite a few of them are written in Japanese, but I do know what they are. You also get Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury 2... Real about Fatal Fury Special, Real about Fatal Fury 2 The Newcomers, even though the pictures are reversed, and they're actually they come in the reversed order in the menu as well as I recall from the other units. Um, it's supposed to be the other way around if they're going by release date and everything. Anyway, uh, Garol Mark of the Walls, uh, Kazuna, Kazuna Encounter Super Tag Battle, King of Fighters 97, 98 and 99, Last Blade 2, World Heroes Perfect, Aggressors of Dark Combat, Blue's Journey, Burning Fight, Cyber Lip, King of the Monsters 2, Magician Lord, Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug 3, Ninja Commando, Ninja Masters, Robo Army, Son Goku 3, um, Shot Trooper 2nd Squad, Top Hunter, Roddy and Caffey, Alpha Mission 2, Blazing Star, Twinkle Star Sprites, League Bowling, Soccer Brawl, Super Psychics, and Top Players Golf. And uh, just so you have a look there at the games on there. So yeah, <laughs> that is your lineup of games. Some of them have different names because, you know, being from Japan. So we'll be, <clears throat> I'll be opening up the box. I removed the sellotape bits from, that's it, I removed the sellotape bits from the box, so we just open it, 
so we can finally see what we have inside. And inside you have all of this. <laughs> you can't really see too well, but I'll, I'll show off everything. So we take out some packaging, which I don't need. You have your usual Neo Geo Mini manual. You have, oh, you get your character card uh, with these additions. Oh no, you get, um, as well as that you get this, I'm assuming it's a mouse, uh, not a mouse pencil, it's some kind of art print. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh no, it's a thing to put the actual unit on. That's it. Um, and here you have it. Uh, for some reason, despite the fact it's supposed to be Samurai Showdown, or this unit is themed Samurai... Uh, the unit is Samurai Showdown themed. Here we have Metal Slug. <laughs> yeah, we've got the uh, cast of uh, Metal Slug here on this little um, thing. Oh, I don't know. There's, there's a word for this. It's, it says on the back. Hold on. Um, Anti-slip cushion. That's what you see, yeah, this is an anti-slip cushion. <laughs> Actually, I think this is the same on all of them. Um, I don't think there's any variants, but you always get that metal slug one for some reason. It's weird. Um, here we have the controllers. Oh, oh, well, one controller anyway. So you can see this is a clear model. I thought it was going to be plain white, but actually, you know, it's a clear model. And yeah, the um, it's the same as all the other um, uh, controllers. But the buttons are nice. But the um, I'm I'm actually used to this myself. But lots of people just really find it to be um, uh, a bit hard to get used to, especially since um, I can understand that because obviously back in the day you had a, a definite feel for the um, the joystick, and when you wiggle it around, you actually do have a, a certain feel for what direction it is. And of course, you don't you don't get it with this because um, it's uh, it. Obviously, they went with a slightly cheaper design to try and keep the cost down, and it's the same thing for the arcade unit itself. But it's um, not bad. At least, uh, I mean, I've gone used to it, so that's why I'm saying it's not bad. But for Neo Geo enthusiasts, they probably say no. <laughs> oh yeah, and of course, the reason why this is clear is because you can get um, a proper white version of it separately, and of course, this matches the design of the unit itself. And of course, you get the other one in there. I'm just trying to fish out um, the other bits. Oh, this is oh, this is the character card. I'll open that in a sec. And of course, you have your uh, stickers here, um, specifically for this unit. Um, so you get two, uh, you get a couple of stickers to put onto the marquee bit at the front, and you got some stickers. You can just see them on the, that, that that with the blue and red there. That's supposed to go over the controller buttons on the unit itself. And yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to just take out the uh, the unit itself. I've already shown you the controller. The controller, by the way, of course, is based on the Neo Geo CD design. So here's the unit itself. Obviously, it's got this sticker, which I'll remove. Um, but yeah, everything is... <laughs> if you wanted to see what the insides of one of these Neo Geo units are, then, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to get it with this particular unit. I actually thought this was going to be just plain white for some reason. I have no idea why <laughs> they decided to go with a clear design, because... I thought some people thought this. I uh, find this design to be a bit ugly, but um, there you go. And of course, you got all the the guts of the controls, and I think the um, the thing at the bottom might as well just show. Oh, so, so, sorry, I keep forgetting this is. Oh no! Oh yes, mirrored. Yeah, sorry. I thought it's all upside down, but no, it's just all mirrored. That's it. I keep forgetting that. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, just simply peel this off. And there we go. Brilliant. Um, I'm just trying to get the sticky tape off without tearing. Yay, there we go. Just put in the bin. Get off. It's stuck to my fingers. It's stuck to my fingers. Get off, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a little um, PD sticker thing that came off from the unit. So, yeah, here's the unit screen without the sticker. So yeah, there you are. So very, very decent uh, side screen for what it is. I'll just quickly um, do this, show you off the, oh, <laughs> try to rip the uh, little thing off for the character card and it came completely off. That's it, once again, put in the pin over there. Thank you, oh, unit's fallen over. <laughs> Let's put it over here. And I'll just show off, this should be the Haomaru character card. And, oh yeah, there it is. It's a, very, very nice, very shiny. Is it? I think it's metallic, or a very hard plastic. Um, hold on, I'll just. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's it's a hard plastic. 
but uh, yeah yeah not bad at all really it's just, it's just a nice little bonus it's it's not really um, something you get the unit for but yeah there you are and they also do ones for um, Nakuru and um, Ukiyo as well for the other units the black Kuroko version though I can't remember, I think they, they recycle um, the Haomaru one or I don't know I'm remembering from someone else's video I think they recycled someone and it wasn't really the uh, character you'd expect but, um, there you are I've just realised yeah inside here you're also supposed to get an HDMI cable which I think yeah this is the HDMI cable and I'm guessing the other one is the power supply yeah yeah, the other controller also houses the yeah also houses the power supply as you can see there the other controller had the HDMI cable um, let's take out actually yeah, so just take out the bottom part there because I, I, I do want to keep them in the box because it's, it's just convenient that way to just have everything in the box okay and everything's just falling out. <laughs> everything's just falling out so I'll just do that there yeah so he got so that's another thing about this unit, so it also comes with its own HDMI cable to plug it into the TV, which we will see as far as time is concerned. But I'm definitely going to show off the unit going itself. So first of all, what we need is our unit. Um, actually, yeah, well, I don't need to show off the controls. That's the thing I keep forgetting because you can play the unit as is, which is good. Um, but what I need is I need the power cable, which is this little thing here. It's USB type C to full on USB. The USB Type-C is for the unit itself so you don't have to worry about um, having to connect it to anything that has to match USB Type-C. That's just the um, connection for that. It's the same thing for the HDMI cable as well. It's a mini version of HDMI that connects to the unit itself. The um, other connector is bog standard HDMI so you can plug it into anything which makes sense. <clears throat> Sorry for going up against the screen that way I'm just reaching my bin. So yeah Nice uh, cable and it's about two meters long. So we plug this in here in the um, socket on the far. Um, that would be your far on the unit. Yeah, the far on the far right of the unit. So I'm getting, sometimes I get my left and right muddled up. So yeah, plug it in there. I need to plug it into the. Hence why I need this. Plug it in here. I'm just going to show off a little bit of it. Plug it in here, in my wall socket, and now we'll be able to press the Neo Geo power button, which is on the far left there, and it should be powered on, yep, yeah. 40th anniversary, SNK, of course obviously these were originally made for the 40th anniversary of SNK, the company, then he made these on the back of the Samurai Shogun game, which came out recently, and here we have, oh yeah, it's nice and loud, the, um, <laughs> I can't really sort of control it um, uh, like this, but uh, yeah, you got all the um, games here. Actually, let's start off with Samurai Shogun, just showing it off. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah, press the A button. <laughs> I haven't. Um, yeah, so I was going to say, so I haven't. Uh, I just should have by now like figured which button is which. Yeah, the red button's A, yellow is bl um, B, blue. But yeah, no, no, green is C, and the, the blue one is D. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, all the all the games on here are Japanese by default, but some of them you can change to English or Spanish or Portuguese depending on what languages are available. But yeah. Samurai Spirits, which is the Japanese name for the game. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to play the game <laughs> with the uh, thing. But yeah, you got the again the joystick there. Again, um, some people complain because there's no um, micro switches, so you can you know, have a definite feel. But it, it, if you get once you get used to it, you can use it. Um, set start buttons and of course multicolored ones for A B C D. And um, I am going to attempt, actually, to... Uh, where's the other one? That's it. Um, HD, um, the HDMI cable, um, just to show it off the TV. 
just to let you know that you can plug it into the TV. <laughs> so yeah, just get rid of that. Oh, I've got two. <laughs> I just saw there's two, but there you are. Yeah, they're all um, the games of Japanese by default, but you can, if there is the option to, pl uh, to play them in English, then uh, there you are. But um, by default, there'll be the original versions, like for Samurai Showdown, where you actually see the blood. <laughs> yeah, if you put it onto um, English or USA mode, then you'd have um, non-blood. Uh, oh yeah, they come with these little uh, protector things here, which come in the box. The little one for the unit itself, and the big one for the other connector. So yeah, we've got our HDMI cable, and it's all getting muddled up. So I was not paying attention. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is sorry guys, it's just gonna take me a moment to set up here. So right. I'm not gonna faff about with the back, I'm just gonna use because my TV has free your um HDMI connectors, I'm gonna use the one that's most convenient and the what I'm gonna pop it on the one on the side here, so just for the uh just for the time being so that I'll be able to show off the uh unit paid on the TV. Please go in. <laughs> oh boy. Um, other, other way, other way Dave, other way, other way. Yeah again, sorry about this. Oh there we are. <laughs> Finally got it. Let me just move the TV. Oh, that's oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. And um, let's take out a controller. Let me just undo the. That's the thing. They will come in these uh, twisty ties. I'll just. I'll get rid of that in a minute. And to plug in the controller, the unit of course has these control ports. And just uh, see the. Is this player one? Yeah, player one. Yeah, one for player one, one for player two. So let's plug it, uh, turn everything on. Get my TV to really not show BBC One, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> can you actually, can you see it? That's about it, okay. No, no, no don't, <laughs> don't go onto HDMI 2, thank you. HDMI 3. And we should, yay, there we are. <laughs> This should look familiar for those who've seen some of my videos. Um, so yeah, we, um, of course, plays through the TV, like um, all the other units I have. For HDMI, the um, menu looks uh, quite nice as uh, as normal. And so yeah, oh yeah, the Samurai Shodown units have this uh, unique uh, menu design, make it authentically sort of very Japanese. Play a bit of uh, metal slug. I am not going to be an idiot. I am going to be easy. Because <laughs> I know I'm just going to lose. <laughs> anyway, this is just to show off the unit anyway. So as you can see, you can see, you should be able to see the blood. Whilst the English version, you have the grey sweat. press uh, start and select to go back to the main menu and exit right there so yeah there you go that be the uh, Neo Geo Mini Samurai Showdown Hamaru version so of course Hamaru is white Nakaru is red Ukiyo is blue and of course there is the Kuroko edition which is the one I haven't got yet but I'm planning on getting and that one being <laughs> that one is black so yeah that be um, the review for this. I don't know it's out of the box, but yeah, so this has been the Neo Geo Mini Halmaru edition. Hopefully this has been informative, or we've um, just enjoyed seeing it, and as we approach the 20 minute mark, I'll um, say thank you very much for watching, and uh, do take care guys. Thanks again. Do take care. A little. <laughs> I should have stopped it right there, sorry. <laughs> do take care guys. Bye.